Oh, that's good. Yeah. Can I give Agro Bird a try? Oh, it should also be noted that uh, if you're playing as a secondary character, the AI are gonna be like m the the AI are gonna be like the secondary characters as well. Um, so you're gonna have like Metal Sonic and Tailstone and all that, and like the left if, if there's like characters remaining, then it'll just it'll just default to the main cast. But because of that, if you as so when you unlock Super Sonic and you want to play as like Egg Robo or someone. You're always gonna have to go up against Super Sonic, so yeah. <laughs> have fun with that. Uh, 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 yeah, I guess coming back off topic. Uh, yeah, Nitro Fuel's looking nice. Nitro Kart, yeah. I um, yeah, Christmas gifts. I after I got over my initial shock, I. It that much. I think I just watched my older brother play it more, but mm. love it. Okay. Chris Vision has always been pretty good at nailing a vintage crash look, and they even got yeah. it, his old character designers to do the art. Hmm. That's good. Got that and Charles. I guess his last name is MBS. Back. Hmm. Explains why. A lot of the characters do mostly look fit in Naughty Dog's games. Yeah. Yeah, so the cutscenes are gorgeous for the time. Like, I've seen a few yeah. of them, yeah, they're pretty good. We watched the opening a few days ago and I was kind of impressed by how good everything looks still. It makes me wonder if the Nitro Fueled is gonna. They like, have two stories entirely, like they have the Crush Team Racing one, and then they have the Nitro Kart one. Because if they're going to have like every stage and character, I feel like they may as well just go to full mile at that point. But I don't know, we'll see what happens. We do we do Nitro Kart's story, I'd be okay if they got rid of the second quest. Oh, was the second quest? What's that about? Alvila, like Nitrous Oxide, is an asshole, and he makes you get the relics once you beat him the first time. Oh. <laughs> so it's a whole lot of double unlocking yet again, and Nitro Kart's CNK letters are even more precariously placed than the CTR letters, so... Ah, dang. That's... Well, they're going to stay fail faithful. I feel like they're going to have to include those. I mean, they got rid of the anti-gravity sections in the track, so... That's true. Pretty... It's okay with me. Hmm. Well, I've heard, um, uh, I've, I, I've, I just watched, like, a Chris, some Crystal Vision videos before I started recording, but, um, uh, apparently they, they were to, um, he is, as well as, like, some other people were told that they're adding, I think it, I, it might, it was, like, either one or multiple, uh, single player mini, uh, missions or whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting, whatever they do with that, I guess. It's the standard adventure mode from Crash Team Racing and then what's it called, they called it? Some second mode where you can customize, you can switch your characters and parts. Yeah. And the story mode of CCR will be left intact with a second version, I guess. Consider a free play mode akin to the LEGO Star Wars. Hmm. I am, like, really excited for uh, Nitro Fueled, though, because... I've never played like any of the of the um, racing games, and um, this is basically two of them in one, really. And um, yeah, I, I've like I've always been interested in playing Crush Team Racing, um, but like getting Nitro Kart on top of that is like a pretty good bonus, really. Like that, I, I might oh. like I got way more excited about Nitro Fuel when I saw those Nitro Kart tracks. Yeah. Have um, have played CTR the original CTR, but uh, since it's a PS3 emulation of a PS1 game, I can't play it with four people. <laughs> the Sony didn't bother to emulate multi tap correctly. Oh man, are you gonna be getting it on the PS4? Oh no.
I might do it just out of at this point, and since I'm playing, I might I retried the original Crash Team Racing on my PlayStation 3 again. Hmm. Really preserve some muscle memory. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hopefully we can still win this. Sorry, was he running on the water? Uh, yeah, you can run on the water for like a couple seconds, and then you just drop. Sorry, got it. The Egg Rover is... Egg... Now that I think about it, the, the Eggman characters, like Eggman and the Egg Rover are probably the worst characters because they can't hover over water and they don't seem to have a jump at all. Like they have, if you get like 10 or so rings, you have this, uh, this like missile attack you can use, but it doesn't really do much at all. Like I, I shot Sonic earlier and he just jumped forward a little bit and that was it. So... You know, we just have to get first and get the emeralds. Ready, set, go. Game's almost done. Oh, I think another okay. thing. Uh, this is just quickly. Uh, the another thing is that um, Egg Eggman himself is also unlockable, which I think you get him by being by coming coming in first in the in these four stages. So uh, it's not too difficult. Just play the game normally, and you'll get it. I said, say it in green light sequel to this on the Dreamcast. Well, they were trying. Wait, they were gonna do a sequel? I'm surprised they didn't. Oh. Hmm. I. Yeah. I mean, the Sonic car with, like, an actual decent amount of, like, stages and characters would have been alright, I think. I think. Because, like, this, this game's fun enough. And they, like, did a. Um, a game with a higher budget it would have been pretty interesting. Alright. Sorry, that's supposed to be the purple emerald. I honestly can't tell. Dang it, I need 50. So, is this character called the uh, Metal Knuckles or like Robo Knuckles? I'm not sure if he has an official name. It's probably like in a character bio or something. A, a bit. I don't know for sure. It's probably like Mecha Knuckles or Robo Knuckles or something. I'll probably be able to find out in post. Well, I don't know, like, uh, it's a pretty good time to be a kart racer fan because, uh, like, like just, no, like with the whole like t Crash Team Racing gang or Nitro Fueled gang, two games in one, and also Sonic Team Racing doesn't look half bad either. Team Sonic Racing. Yeah, Team Sonic Racing. Uh, they, they, that, that also looks pretty good. Uh, with the whole... oh crap, I need to be first. Are you sure? Because you seem happy. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I think I'm missing an emerald somewhere else, because that would only be six. Yeah, I'm liking... It's nice to have more mascot car racers. It, like, yeah. it does feel like the 90s have kind of come back. Yeah, in a sense, yeah. And yes, I'm very... That sure feels looking really good. Like, I'm yeah. very happy that Insane Trilogy did as well as it did because it seems like Activision is actually putting a bug in the remasters now. I'm I'm, I'm really happy with, like, how Crash and, by extension, Spyro has been doing because, like, I feel like Insane Trilogy was, like, the testing ground and seeing how well that did, like, they, like, uh, was it? Reignited had, um, like, Reignited, like, like, I feel like that was like the like a massive step up in just in terms of just in terms of just sheer quality uh, in terms of like just there's so much detail in Reignited and the fact that and the fact that like um they kind of made the game like um Toys for Bob kind of made the game their own in the sense that they had they had a lot of creative liberties with it and um. 
And uh, now with like, and um, how was it? Um, the racing one, uh, Nitro Fueled. Um, it's like, I, I, I'm, it, I'm just happy to see like um, Activision are bothering giving Spyro and Crash like the budget they deserve. And uh, wh whenever they start making ac like brand new games entirely, I hope like I hope they do the same for with the they they give them the time and money for when they get to those as well. I think that trilogy's budget is so much better than insane trilogies that they can afford subtitles now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The Nitro Field needs subtitles, but it to be there. Yeah, I just. I'm. It, it just feels so. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, where's the Emerald at? Um, it, it feels so refreshing Damn, to. <laughs> like, just to, just to be able to be uh, excited for Crash and Spire's future is so relieving after all the crap we've had to go through. Oh. Uh, <laughs> why is this so? Th this shouldn't be hard. <laughs> I don't know why it's taking so long. No. But like, if you if you asked us like, say like four years ago or so, you'd ask if you asked how we feel about being a Crash or Spyro fan. We'd probably answer saying, like, we feel pretty miserable. <laughs> but nowadays, like, it actually feels really good. Like, I'm excited to see what they do with, with, with the with the IPs now. And uh, that's refreshing to feel. Don't know how you feel, but... Nitrofield's budget is so good, they can actually remake post-PS1 content now. Yeah. Actually... Yeah, it's we're actually seeing some post-PS1 content. That's actually nice to see. That's nice that's, to see. Yeah, yeah. Very nice to say. Yeah. Oh man, the the fact we're we're gonna actually see get to see Cr Crunch and Nina in HD for the um for the first time really. No, kind of. Sure about Nina, she's she's not in Nitro Kart. Oh, she isn't. Oh crap! Dang it! I thought she was. Did debut in another Vicarious Visions game, but it was Crash Purple. Ah. Uh. That's disappointing. It's a long story about Nina's, like, Nina's conception is a very odd story, like, <laughs> Traveler's Tales was supposed to do Lee. Hmm. It's one of the characters who would show up in it, but I guess development was handed off to Vicarious Visions and Traveler's Tales, I guess, put all their focus onto insanity. That's fair enough, I guess. Like, oh uh, man, then, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't see Nina again. <laughs> Purple and Spiral Orange came out before Twin Sanity, and Vicarious Visions apparently got word of what Oxford Studio was doing, and they put Nina in their GBA games first. Oh, okay. And those, yeah, those that those two games are Nina's official debut. That is really interesting. I never knew that. Out of nowhere, Twin Sanity is the proper for. Hmm. Yeah, because at Twin Sanity, like, the way it's uh, made, like, it, it feels like it was supposed to be Nina's debut. Please. Oh, crap. Metal Sonic has already passed. Dang it. But, yes, if the, the reports are true, we will be seeing the Nitro Kart characters who weren't playable in CTR, like, all <laughs> in Nitro Fueled. I feel like the game's gonna be pretty packed. Like, how how much They're content have... is in Nitro Field? Uh, Nitro Field. Uh, Nitro Kart. Uh, Nitro Kart had 13 tracks. Okay. But the tracks were generally longer. Alright. So how many... Playable character roster was slightly bigger than. Slightly bigger, I mean, just by one. <laughs> Man. Um, how how much Those did Crash Jam Racing had have? They had five, 15 characters, one from each Crash platformer at the time. Okay. Well, crash plat crash Excuse platform me. at the time. Like, it's a good roster, but it's kind of weird. 
Without Komodo Moe. Yeah. Rio, despite being one of the few characters to show up more than once beforehand, is not playable at all. <laughs> Penta Penguin is. No, I could get back. Penguin from Dingo Dial's intro and in Warped. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's playable. Oh. <laughs> Penta Penguin. Did you get the Emerald? No, I. what, what I'm doing, I'm just uh, let, activating them and then grabbing the Emeralds on my... Sec on my next run through because they take a while to just drop down and that's slowing me down a lot. Terrible. Yeah, but um... Do you think they should do anything with tag team racing or do you think they should just leave that one? I've never played, like it's the only craft racing I've never played. Um, mm. By all means, if they can afford to... Yeah. I'm not sure if, like, unlike Nitro Kart, it doesn't really play like CTR. Yeah, it seems to be more its own thing, so it might be... It, it would probably just have to be its own thing if they do decide to do that, and I... It doesn't seem to be very have, uh, well regarded, so I think they'll just skip that one. No, it's failed. Oh, why is this so difficult? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Beanox was Beanox has the money and like retooling the tracks by all means. Yeah. Then I I would be sad, but I won't lose too much sleep over it because I'm I'm just very grateful that Metro Card's getting any acknowledgement whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking what I can get with this. Yeah. The fact that they're, they're doing more than just cra uh, crashing racing at all is really is really good. Yes, although I mean, it's going to be packed with content. Although, yeah, CTR is lengthy game, even in 1999. But mm. yeah, I feel like it's going to be packed with content. Today. It's going to be like really packed with content. Like CTR and Nitro Kart together is almost on par of Mario Kart 8. Damn. Lux, anyways. That's insane. Like, that's... <laughs> oh, gosh. Man. Um, 18 tracks from CTR, 13 from Nitro Kart, yeah. so that's... 31 tracks and... tracks. I'm excited to get into, like, some kart races again with, like, Team Sonic Racing and uh, Nitro Fuel, because... I, I basically more or less dropped Mario Kart 8 at this point because I, I, I didn't even play Deluxe that much because at this point I've played so much of Mario Kart 8 that I kind of played... I basically played all I needed uh, of that game and uh, there's not much else new for me to discover. So I'm excited to get into a new a, a kart some kart races again. I missed the Emerald. It would be nice if Nintendo remade Diddy Kong Racing. Again. <laughs> I keep on hearing rumors about like a Diddy Kong Racing thing, like a remake or a sequel or something, and like nothing ever comes out of it. There was one rumor that I really liked that apparently said that Diddy Kong would be paired up with a bunch of lesser known Nintendo characters like mm. Dylan from Dylan's Rolling Western and Mallow from Pushmo. That would be an, that would be an interesting idea. That would, I, that would be amazing. Saying, like it'd be yeah. basically an inverse of what the characters and DK conversation were supposed to be. Yeah, because like you know, I, I think that would be an interesting compromise because you can't have rare characters anymore. So I wonder I what I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind if Nintendo should revive the Donkey Kong Racing game that was apparently oh, yeah. in the works at one point. Yeah, that would be interesting. I want to so, see Kitty in a modern game. I want to see a lot of the old, like, DK crew, like, in, like, HD. Because, um... So like they're slowly bringing them, bringing them back, but there's still a lot of characters we haven't seen in a long time. Like... I don't know. So just put... The, like, take the roster of Barrel Blast and then add in some more Kongs and then add in the Tiki's and 
watch those games, and then it's a, you got a pretty good roster, all things considered. Yeah, like, yeah, I'd be a care, care of that. It's like a mix of the retro and the modern DK universe. The final boss will be Stan Lee. <laughs> oh, you mean uh, DK Donkey Kong 3 Stan Lee? Yes. Oh, okay. Next Stan Lee, the bug man. <laughs> I think in Tropical Freeze, you can see, um, there's an area where you can just see, like, the background is just literally a Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Free stage. Congratulations. Finally did it after, like, ten tries. <laughs> and Tails doll looks like Jessie in her montage in Toy Story 2. <laughs> We're still missing- you still got no chaos afterwards. <laughs> It's like, screw you, you still didn't get it. We're missing an emerald, though. I know, and I know for a fact it's not in, uh... uh I'll just be Sonic. Uh, I, I know for a fact it's not in the final stage. Um... Um, let's see. I'm trying. Roll seven emeralds, so... It has three emeralds, right? Huh? No stage ever has three emeralds, right? I don't think so, no. Like two, 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 one for the. Yeah, it would have to be stages. two, two, one. So I, I know where they're both in for this one. So we got this. So okay, we got that one. Just gonna have to backtrack through the stages. So I know where the emeralds are, but yeah, just missing one. I guess going back to Nitro Field yet again because I really am looking forward to that game now. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else to Racing. say about Sonic R itself, so. Sorry, Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess that was the emerald we were missing. All right. Anyways, what are you saying? Um. Yeah. If, uh, tag team. Embracing the stages are a no-go, then parts of the characters. Mm. It's like only three you have to bring back from Tag Team Racing. <laughs> uh, Pasadena and then Ebony's Revolver Clutch. Yeah. Like, I could see, I could see, like, depending on how much Vision wants to support uh, Nitro Fuel, I can see them holding off, being held off as DLC. Yeah. Not sure about the other. There too, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tag Team Racing's concept is far removed from the other two games. Like that could be. It's a unique cons It's a unique concept for a kart racer, I think. I I've just heard that it's really easy to abuse. Um. Effectively, what I've heard, you can merge your cards with another AI, abandon them <laughs> right at the start, right before the finish line. Yeah, and just kind of cheese victory. That 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 sounds really broken. Like, so if you just man, there, there needs to be a better way to just I don't know. There needs to be some kind of cost or like a meter, so you can't just do it forever or something. Yeah, we got Supersonic now. And, uh, I guess we'll just- we won't really get to see e Eggman because you, we have to beat this level in first and, uh, the game's over after this, so... But yeah, Supersonic is just- is by far just the best character in the game. Like, he's obviously the fastest, uh, he, um, I think he can- he can hover over water infinitely, um, and... Yeah, just good good luck, um, and he also has a double jump like normal Sonic does. Um, so yeah, if you, um, play again, play again, if you play as any of the secondary characters, Super Sonic is gonna be one of the AI, and just, you, good luck, good luck trying to be him, because it's, I feel like it's nearly impossible. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Stage is rain over basically. Pretty much. 
Apparently, it's supposed. To, apparently, like uh, this is what's inside one of the, one of the uh, Chaos Emeralds or something. I don't know if that's true, but it's kind of funny how it's just there's just a racetrack inside of it. I was imagining a Chow rave party. Pretty much, yeah. Also, supersonic racing. Uh, if you don't Check have sound. Oh, you don't have sound. Aww. But, um... If you don't have Supersonic in this stage, it plays a different track entirely. Um, it's like Diamond in the Sky or something like that, and, um... Yeah. It's pretty good. But most of the time... Hmm? What's that? What were you gonna say, Harry? Um, I don't know. I, I I I was just. I think I think I was just gonna say like uh, the the other track that can play is uh, pretty good too. That most of the you said yeah. So Diamonds in the Sky plays if you're using regular, not supersonic. Yeah, if you're playing as anyone that's not supersonic, yeah. Love nineties Euro pop. <laughs> yep, and that's it. <laughs> You've officially completed the game. Wait, are, is, are Super Sonic's eyes red in this? I don't know. Come on, turn around. Uh, I think. A red ruined. No, they're not green either. That's what they're supposed to be. Are they just? They kind of look reddish. I don't know. Yeah, I, I was getting modern Super Sonic confused. They're supposed to be green at this point in time. <laughs> Yay! That's the super Sonic is it's basically just a Super Saiyan. Yeah, they're not green, not canon. Ah. Uh. <laughs> then Sonic fight Sonic the fighters. Well, I mean, I, I never really. I, I don't know. Like this is this is meant to just be a spin-off, so you, you can. It doesn't really matter whether or not you want it to be canon. Because like they're literally the story is like. Eggman is like, oh, I know where the Chaos Chaos Emeralds are. Let's let's do a Grand Prix around these areas where the Emeralds are. Like, so basically every Sonic game then. Pretty much. Like, man, like if he knew where the Emeralds are, I don't know why he made this a Grand Prix. Just take the Emeralds and leave. Well, what are you gonna do? We go to Angel Island and steal one after Emerald while Knuckles is <laughs> in the town. Yeah, yeah, but um, before we go into final thoughts, which there's not much to say, um, you got anything else to say about that nitro fueled thing? Because I think you were taught to going to say something earlier. I hope it has a, a nice beefy roster. Yeah. I want the nitro cart characters in. And then, because of my greedy little schmuck, I want them to put the GBA exclusive characters in. <laughs> I want all the other vaguely, all their nominally important characters from the original trilogy to be playable. Mm. I want it done with. I just want. I just want this game to be full of content. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. But in terms of Sonic R itself, uh, I basically said all I needed to. Like, it's a fun enough romp for uh, half, uh, about half an hour to an hour or so. Uh, just trying to get everything. Um, you played this for two hours, Harry. Wait, really? Um, I... Start, well, actually, no. We started for about an hour. We started this called 6.56. Yeah, I have my thing about an hour and seven minutes. So this took a bit longer than I thought, but... Most of that was just failing for a bunch of times. Excuse me, a bunch of times. Um, but generally, you can beat this game pretty quickly, um, and uh, for the most part, it's a generally comfortable uh, romp. Uh, it's, it doesn't control the best. Like again, it it takes a while for you to like turn properly, um, and it's not perfect. But for what it is, it's a it's a decent. It's a decent enough racer, just to 
kill some time and whatnot. And the music's pretty good too. Um, I, I, I Jake Weeks, he's still composing Sonic games to this day. Yep. Oh man. Yeah, but other than that though, uh, not much, not much to say about this game. It, it, it's just. It, it's just kind. It's just kind of there. It, at the end of the day, nothing. It's nothing really too substantial, but it's fun enough for what it is. Uh, and you, this is this is like I assume like the most you've gotten out of this game. Uh, so what, what's your, what, what how if the, from what you saw like how did you feel about it? Is equal to reach its full potential. What what yeah. we have here is very bare bones, and the handling of some of the characters, and I mean like the actual race, like control handling. Yeah. Where we at points? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it's 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 it seems fine, and it's it's a it's a nice relic of a time when Sonic can get spin offs a bit more frequently. Yeah. Okay. These are the the, the uh, secondary stuff. So there's just normal. Like for us, it's, I assume just mirror mode, fire balloons, and tag some characters. Um, I guess I can just show Eggman while doing doing this quickly. But um, yeah. I don't remember where the balloons are. But I feel I feel like something like this should have been actually put into the main game itself. Uh, I like, have like some kind of mini game mode or something, and not. Uh, oh, just little mini games. The options menu. <laughs> that's, yeah. It's weird. Because like the, you you never have to do like, you never have to do something like this. To make a fun game, and you have to unlock one of the characters through the options menu. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember where these things are at all. No, screw it. We don't need to do this. You get the idea. Oh my. I, yeah, this should have gotten a follow-up. I think there was, there was an interesting idea of, like, kind of mashing platformer elements of a... Rayman Arena did that, and that's... With racing mode, that's my favorite part, part of Rayman Arena. I did not even... I didn't even know there was a difficulty setting. <laughs> As weather, you can just change this, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's just some cool stuff you can change. Also, this roster needed to be more like Sonic the Fighters because that's a, a nice, colorful roster. Yeah, this is very like like a, a lot of it is just like there's just too little, really. It's the main issue. Uh, but either way, uh, I, that's basically all I've got to say about this game. Um, we talked more about Crash for for this, but what are you going to do? Um, I mean, we could have talked about Team Sonic Racing. <laughs> that's true, but uh, I have uh, Nitro Fueled, like, fresh in the mind right now, so... This video's been brought by Sony State of Play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I didn't even watch that. I did. How, how was that? Because I've heard bad things. It was only... 20 minutes, so it's not like I wasted my time. Mm. Um, Mortal Kombat 11 was my favorite part, but that's just me showing bias. Mm. The game looks so good. Oh, man. Yeah. The best facial tech alongside Spider-Man PS4. <sighs> Alright, so you, you got anything else to say, or can we, like, uh, should we stop? I think we can head off now. Alright, thanks for watching Sonic R, and um, um, I don't know what's going to happen next after this playthrough goes up, but um, for s me and Scrappy, and also Nick, we're going to be doing Team Cha Chaotix um, for Heroes, and um, we're also going to be starting Mario Sunshine probably soon after that too, so yeah, look forward to that I suppose, and we'll catch you guys later. Good night everyone.